Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes Gaming, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we have got episode number 2 of WWE 2K19, Independent to International, My Career Mode series. Hope you guys enjoyed the first video. If you haven't seen it yet, go back and watch it now. It's very worth a watch. My first uh, game in WWE, my first match. So go and give that a watch now. And we are following on straight on from where the last video left off. And we are just about to go for a tryout match in WWE. This is way bigger than yeah, I expected. Yeah, a little bit bigger. VFW and the State Fair combined. Yeah. Don't let that bother you. All that matters is the rings the same size. But is it though? All right, good point, but I assume their rings aren't covered in rust and mysterious. You would hope not. We're working on fixing that. Come on, let's go. Ooh, let me triple, triple H. H. Woo! And, uh, try to play it cool. You don't want to recite his entire I do want to recite his entire career history. I want to go to Triple H and tell him to go suck it. His entire career history. That's what I want to do. Hey, Hunter. It's been a while. This is my guy that Matt Bloom wanted to bring in for the tryout match tonight. Ooh. I would I not be this cool for us meeting Triple H. Him, Baron? I did. He's one of my top students. I'll try not to hold that. Hey, he's got the jokes. Look, I've heard a lot of good things. But I want to see you in action tonight before we decide anything. Fair enough, Mr. Hunter. Have an opponent for him yet? I do. Surviving in WWE is all about how you handle adversity. So you're going to face the toughest guy we have. Actually, the toughest. Oh no, monster. that doesn't mean what I think it means, does it? Go introduce yourself. Oh! Don't worry. Braun, I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. I, don't, I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to fight that man. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't think I want to be a wrestler anymore. Hey, Braun. Oh my gosh. I, I just wanted to introduce. Run away. Myself. No autographs. Huh. I'm, I'm not a fan. I'm actually your opponent tonight. Oh, don't tell him that. Run! You mean victim? So how do you want to Quickly, die? please, quickly, quickly, quickly. I'd like to survive tonight if that's okay with I'm, you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mr. Sp I'm sorry, Mr. Braun. I'm sorry. Was, in what type of match do you want to get these uh, hands? Uh, I don't know. Uh, a normal match. I don't want to be put through a table by that man. Uh, yeah. I want a regular match. That way I can show Triple H that I can put up a fight inside the ring without having to rely on any kind of weapon. Oh. I can't believe you thought I was actually going to let you choose the type of weapon. Oh no. Tonight. We're going to do what I want to do because I'm a monster among men. So it'll be a steel cage what? match. That way you can't. But I want to run away. I want to run away. Steel cage. Great idea. It's going to be my second choice. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm scared. I don't want to be locked in a cage with Braun Strowman. Can I just can I just go flip burgers somewhere or something, please? That's, that's the end of uh, chapter one. Okay. Slightly scared. Baron Blade is a retired superstar who left for unknown reasons to become a show producer. Rumors suggest that WWE wouldn't let him execute his vision for a new never-before-seen match type. Ooh. Maybe that might be something I get to see at some point. Oh. Well. Guys. If you had a choice of who to talk to. Out of Baron Blade. And Alexa Bliss. Who are you going to talk to? Alexa Bliss. Hey. I've seen some of your indie stuff online. Mm. Not bad. She likes me. I mean. Dialogue. You have reached your first dialogue branch. There might be different conversations or outcomes based on what you choose, so choose wisely. That's quite cool. Uh, thanks, I appreciate you saying that, because I, I, want, I want Alexa to like me. I think I'll point out how tiny she is. She won't like that. And I, I, I want to flirt with her, because she's quite hot. Oh, you thought I was oh. serious? <laughs> I don't have time to watch nobody's like you. Mean. Especially nobody's who are going to get destroyed by Braun Strowman. 
Oh, I am going to get destroyed by Braun Strowman. You've worked for WWE in the past. Any last minute advice for me? Run away! Just make the most of your opportunity, win or lose. Matt Bloom brought you in here because he saw something in you. Just go out there and show him that again. Oh, and try to get some free swag. Ooh. I'd like a Bootio's lunchbox. Ooh, a Bootio's lunchbox would be quite awesome. Everybody needs Bootio's. But I do have bigger things on my mind, like seven foot things. What? Like a replica? No, like surviving. Like not like not you not having to play my funeral next week. Of course. Just trying to keep the mood light. But if you do see a lunchbox lying around. You're just a little bit of a thief, isn't you, mate? Uh, can I talk to Alexa again? Okay, no, it's just going to be all the same stuff again. Okay, any advice on facing Braun Strowman? I've seen what he's capable of when he was my partner in the Mixed Match Challenge. Based on that, I suggest... Yep, you have you got a car I can jump in, love? Please. Uh, let's, go, let's go and get my ass absolutely handed to me. Oh my god, I am actually nervous, I'm actually scared. Don't forget to check your phone when reaching a hub. Um, I had more important things to worry about than checking my phone right now. Even though Baron left WWE, he maintains a, a relationship with Triple H. He has a good reputation as a soap producer, okay? And here we come with my awesome music. Boom, boom, boom. You know what, Braun? You're not the only one who's got hands. You're gonna get these hands. So, just a few things to be nervous about. First match in an arena this big. Facing Braun Strowman. And facing him in a steel cage. Yeah. This has all the potential to go quite wrong. Please just run. Please just run away, bad jokes. And weighing in at 385 pounds, Ron Strowman. God, he's a large man. He is a very, very large man. And now let's get this arse whooping out of the way. Actually, this guy's tryout match tonight. What's he trying out for? To be a crash test dummy? By not leaving the cage. Oh my gosh, Triple Eight. Uh, come on, Power Slam already. And, well, he beat me rather quickly, didn't he? What could I do about that? That was, well. That could have been worse. At least he finished it quickly. At least he finished that quickly. I don't know how I would have impressed Triple H with that, but I have. Well, or at least I hope I have, with somehow. Let's see what happens next. Let's see if the next scene is me in a hospital bed. You did a good job. I did, didn't it? Really? Feels like I got run over by a big bearded tank. He was a Nope. <laughs> I don't know. But no matter what, you always have a home in the BCW. Thanks. Hey, I saw a lot of positive things from you tonight. Most importantly, you didn't seem intimidated by being on okay. the stage. Okay. Or by being locked in the cage with a monster. Well, I was intimidated, but thank God he didn't see that. We'd like to offer you an NXT Woohoo! We've made it into NXT! And return it at tomorrow night's show. This is amazing. Thank you. I would shake your hand, but I think three of my fingers are... <laughs> Don't worry about it. Rest up and we'll finalize everything tomorrow night. Cool. NXT, here we come, baby! You did it. I'm 
shocked. Me too. I just can't believe it. I mean, against all odds. I know. I'll definitely be sad to see you go. You've become one of my yep, top guys. but I'm going. You'll be fine though, right? I mean, you got Cole and the rest of the crew, yeah? Sorry, what, what am I doing? This is your time to celebrate, not to worry about me and BCW. You enjoy the moment. I'm going to go talk to Triple H about when you might start, so maybe I can get you on one more BCW show. We'll do a big farewell match. It'll be great. Sounds good. Okay, farewell show apparently. I'll see you back at the but this Baron Blade Come does back. seem rather dodgy. I'm proud of you. Thanks, Baron. Couldn't have done it without you. I sense a hill turn coming from Mr. Baron Blade. Was tonight just a one time thing? Or are you signing with WWE? Well, actually, I was literally just offered an NXT contract and I can't wait to get Yeah. Started. You should just skip the next team and go straight to the main roster. Actually, you know what? Hey, Triple H, you say listen. Oh, audience, bad jokes! What are you doing? Enough to go straight to the main roster, which actually I think I proved it tonight by going toe to toe with Braun Strowman in a steel cage and not backing down. Oh, what the hell? What the hell's going on? Who was that? Who? What? No! I'm supposed to be starting in the next team, you muppet! Leave me alone! Oh, I'm so gonna kick his ass, whoever that was! I'm gonna unmask you and show your ugly face to the world! So now this is the next day. I proved it tonight by going toe to toe with Braun Strowman in a steel uh -oh. cage. Bad jokes, what have you done? Less than 24 hours after we offer you the opportunity of a lifetime, you get into a fight with a fan outside a WWE event. Hey, he started on me! I'd really love to hear this explanation. Well, come on. The fan attacked me first. Oh, uh, what do I say? Do I, do I suck up and apologise? Or do I go, fuck it, the fan attacks me first. Sorry for the bad language. It might slip out every now and then, but I don't mean it. Uh, a fan attacked me first. Yeah. Look, the fan attacked me first. I was just defending myself. What am I supposed to do? Just stand there and get beat up? All we can see is you. Fighting with a member of the oh, I'm spending some more time down in that blooming bingo hall, aren't I? That's how it happened. You need to understand, this isn't some rinky-dink independent promotion running shows at the Elks Lodge. This is a publicly traded... Ooh, Triple H is angry. We can't have our WWE superstars getting into fights with fans, and it will not be tolerated. On top of that, you were bashing uh -oh. NXT, saying you were going straight to the main roster. Who in the hell do you think you are? I was just having fun with the fans. I was just about to say that I would be happy to go to NXT, and the fan attacked me. Oh, I bet. This is what I get for trying to do business with one of your oh. guys, Baron. Come on, Hunter. Can't you just find him or something? No, because I can't find him if he's not on the active roster. I'm rescinding the contract. Oh. Leave the building, or I will have security. Escort you Bad out. jokes. What was that about? His guys again. This is on you too. Understood. Remember what I said about making me regret my decision? Congratulations. You did it in record time. Oh. I've upset Triple H. I've upset Matt Bloom. I'm stuck in the bingo hall. Hey, this wasn't your fault. I'm sure we'll figure out something else. And you know who's number one suspect for being the man in the mask? That idiot. That idiot there, Baron Blade. If it's not him, I will be shocked. A few days later. Here I am, back in my van. Just a minute. Wakey, wakey, Jake the Snakey. The only snake here is you, Mr. Baron Blade. It's too early for that to be funny. 
Sorry, I couldn't wait to tell you the good news. Triple H called and wants to offer me a contract again? No. I don't think there's any better than that, mate. What could be better than that? Well, after news of your NXT contract being pulled hit the internet, your fan fight video went viral. It's over two Wow, million. if this video could get two million views, I'd be over the moon. So a whole lot of people have watched me throw my career away. Why is that a good thing? Because controversy creates cash. To quote Eric Bischoff. My phone's been blowing up. Everyone wants to book you now. You're the hottest thing on the indie scene. And based upon the principle of supply, there's only one of you. And demand, like I said, is high. Your rate is sky. Mm, okay. Okay. Okay, this could be good. It could be very good. We could turn chicken crap into chicken salad. I get what you're saying. I don't think I get it. You're going to stick it to Triple H and WWE by making your own success. Ooh, well, I could be the new Cody Rhodes. That could be quite awesome. NXT or WWE and we'll do it together. So what do you say? Are you in? I mean... What other choice do I have? I'm in. I'm in. All right. Now, go brush your teeth. Your breath is terrible. Well, that's your fault. If you hadn't attacked me, I'd be able to afford, afford decent toothpaste. Toothpaste, even. But I'd even be able to afford some English lessons. And that's the end of chapter two. I'm going to go for another 10, 15 minutes. See how we get on. Because I am rather enjoying this. And we're getting through the chapters quite quickly now, I think. Buzz inherited his van from his dad after he passed away. He supported Buzz's pursuit of his dreams to be a wrestler. Okay, so my real name is Buzz. Okay. Did not know that. To infinity and beyond. So here we are, pulling up in my van. Which looks right into the arena. I've, I've not got much of a walk to the ring there, have I? Somebody you want to explain to me what's a wrestling show, maybe? Give me a minute. Welcome to the new reality of BCW. Because of all your online hype, we sold out our usual allotment of tickets a few days ago. But since I'm an entrepreneurial genius, I pulled some strings with the school principal, allowing us to move the show outside. Therefore, doubling. Let's just hope it doesn't rain. <laughs> all right. All right, good work. But that's not all. See those fancy video cameras and that nice gentleman I was just... I didn't see him, but I'll take your word for it. Uh, yeah. For the first time ever, BCW will be live streaming our event around the world on pay-per-view. So anyone who's not lucky enough to see Buzz in person can still watch him do his thing from the comfort of their homes for a small but fair fee. Hmm? Isn't it BCW's great? making money. Uh, all yeah, seems to be great. working out for you. Who is Buzz? Oh, <laughs> that's your new nickname. No, uh, okay. You know, because of all the social media buzz you're generating. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. Buzz? <laughs> it's all turning into chicken soup. Yeah, for you, while I'm still stuck here wrestling outside. Uh, yeah, outside of blooming uh, school. Things not crappy. Have you seen Cole? I feel like I should talk to him before our match tonight. Well, he's around here somewhere. And, oh, by the way, your match with him tonight is now Falls Count Anyway. Oh, brilliant. Thought you two could have some fun with all the extra space out here. <laughs> fun, yeah. You really have an odd definition of the word. Well, I think he does. <laughs> so let's see how Cole Quinn's going to react. He's going to be in a rather smug mood, I should think. An icon in top left corner indicates that you have new podcasts available. Listen to today's podcast to hear what people are saying about you. To do this, go to your, menu, go to your phone's menu by pressing triangle and selecting podcast. Oh, okay. Oh, this is quite cool. And then selecting my career section to change settings that are specific to my career. Yep. So, podcast, where are we? His voice was the soundtrack for the biggest matches in square circle history. And now he breaks down the latest happenings in the world of pro wrestling. Get ready for enticing conversations with legendary wrestling commentator Jack. Yeah, I might just cut this bit out and just tell you guys what they say. Because I think it's going to be a bit too long. Okay. So basically, just uh, just me 
bow and blade just just saying how they're promoting the show and how he doesn't know what would have happened if I'd have made it to NXT. It might have taken me two or three years to get up to the main roster and then nobody knows if that would have happened. So it all seems to be working out very well for Baron Blade. Just can now gonna listen to this one as well and just update you afterwards about what this one is saying. Okay, so I didn't really say much there, just saying about how we just how we've just got this the show coming up. And yeah, just talking about how Triple H didn't really have a choice but to but to give away my contract. So not too much to update you about there. And so let's go back. And so let's talk to Mr. Cole Quinn. And let's jump into the match. And now what the bleeding hell is he wearing? The man who drowned in his own rising tide. Come back to apologize to me for stealing my shot at WWE and immediately throwing no. it away. <laughs> Look, I am not apologizing for anything, okay? All I want to say is that we don't need to have each other's backs, but with what Baron is planning to do, the least we could do is have each other's respect, right? So, are we good? <laughs> oh, yeah. We're so good? I thought I'd introduce you to my new character I'm trying out today. Okay. You remember how Matt Bloom didn't like Mr. CQ and decided to give you a tryout instead of me? Sure. Smart decision. I'm calling myself... Black hole coal. Mm. Because I have an energy. Don't be that's gonna go down well. Nothing can escape it. <sighs> what? Oh, you don't like it? Why? I'm not a fan of masks these days. Oh <laughs> You wanna get your head rammed right into that ring post, uh, young man. I find it really interesting that I was attacked by somebody wearing a mask and next time I see you, you have a mask. Not to mention, you also had all the motivation in the world to do it. Hmm. You're right. It was me. So what are you going to do about it? Uh, you better tell me the truth right now. It wasn't me. I, I, I had a match that night 300 miles away. I got the gas receipts to prove <laughs> But I could have hired somebody to do it. What? There was a joke. Man, relax. You relax. With your blooming rubbish lies. Really funny. We'll see who's laughing after our Yeah, and I'll kick your ass again. Didn't enjoy that last time, did you? And here we are in our new outside arena, out in the parking lot of the school. And still got my funky music. Dum, 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 dum. And so let's just skip that and let's get right into this. I'm liking those signs in the crowd, the old My Hero ones, because they are claret and blue, West Ham Football Club colours. Um, wow. That's quite awful, isn't it? I don't like that character at all. And so, yeah, let's beat old Mr. Colquinn into the ground again. Get Cole to yellow health and hit him with a strike at the entrance ramp. Okay. So now a couple of suplexes early doors. And a nice scoop slam. Now on to the second rope. For those of you who are late to the party. Oh. Right, sorry about that guys. Phone just went off. Just had to take it had to take that phone call. So let's get back into this. No, uh, no, I don't want to restart the match. There we go. Yep, so what I've got to do is I've got to get Cole to his yellow health and hit him on the entrance ramp. As all. Oh, good reversal there. Onto the ropes. With the old, what's it? Oh, what's the, what's the move Austin used to do? The flatliner or something? What he used to do back in WCW? Oh, he's going for the pin. And very easily got out of that one. Oh. Oh, come on. Let go of me arm, man. Oh, nice little neck breaker there. We need to get back into this. Oh. Yes. Oh, look at that. That was very nice. Oh, 
Oh. No, oh, he's going for a pin again. And again, out even before one, I think. Oh, over the top rope. And now we're going out. And, oh, no, we're going back in. Into the corner. And another good block, another good reversal there. Now, yep, suplex. And now let's get him out there. Oh, nice. Hey, Triple H, I know you're watching. Impressed with what you see so far? Well, sorry, you had a shot at signing these two. Oh, okay, now what am I doing? BCW yes, right here we go. Nope, it's not, it's not going to let me do that, is it? Yep, that was quite awful. No! Oh! I just wanted to do that to him. I did promise that earlier. I want to get him onto the entrance ramp at the minute. No! Oh! Let's see if I just run over here if he's going to follow us. Now, we're just walking away now. Oh, hello. How far can we go? Oh, hello. This is quite new. Oh. No. Oh, knee to the face. Oh. Yeah, and we kicked out just after one. I don't know what exactly that was. And he's going for a pin again. And there we go. Oh, neck breaker. Come on. I just cannot get into this at the minute. Oh, come on. Just give me a chance, man. Oh, DDT on the concrete. That might just be it. Ah. Rolos. Ah, objective fail. Does that mean I've got to do it again? I think, yeah. Okay. I'm going to try this one more time. I'm going to try this one more time and then we're going to leave it there for today, lads. And now one suplex. And oh, tried for something there, but it didn't work. And then we've got him on the middle rope. And now, yes, nice. And now let's just keep this going. Oh. Oh yes, nice counter there. We apologize if anyone's having difficulty with your pay-per-view stream. To be honest, we underestimated the demand to see buzz in action. We don't Come on, come on, get up. Streaming from a high school parking lot. What do you expect? And now let's get him outside. Nope. Oh. Nice big body slam there. And now we've got him into the yellow. Oh, stop. Oh, I've fallen down. 
Why is that always happening on an entrance ramp? They must be very slippery things. Oh, no idea what that bear hug was all about. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, if I can just get up, that would be rather beautiful. And yeah, out early quick. Come on. And now come on, on to the entrance ramp. Oh, this is quite cool, this split screen here. That's rather cool. Oh. No. Oh, come on. Oh, big, big suplex there. Ah, that's another neck breaker. This is proving to be a lot more difficult than what I thought. And oh, that's unique and rather violent. Oh, come on! Oh no, and I'm out again. Come on, get up. Ah. Okay, this is just not letting me do anything right now. Is that not the entrance ramp? Where is the entrance ramp then? Ah! No, no! Come on, get up, get up! Ah, this is, this is annoying. If you've come here for first class gameplay, you're in the wrong place, peoples. So where is the entrance ramp then? Is it here? There we go, at last. Oh no. Oh, we're going to be in trouble. Oh no, that's my van. No. No, I do not. And now get cold to the south barrier. Where is the where the hell's the south barrier? Now oh okay. Well, I don't really want this to be working because I've got this thing that I've got to do. Oh. And out again. No, come on, just let me get up. So South Barrier, well, it's either, it's either this one here. No, I'm pretty sure it's up here, surely. Come on, get up, son. And now back into the ring. 
And then over here, surely it's here. Oh! Yes, come on. Oh, no, reversal. This takes me back to the marathon beatdown between Owen Schwartz and Mason Junin for the title. Ah, this is so frustrating. Just cannot get this. Now he's going for his signature, I think. And no, not just yet. Oh, good counter there. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's one more thing done. Is there going to be any more? Oh, it's to, it's to go again. It's a super fan. You don't just come and watch a BCW show. You're a part of it. You take your notes, Triple H. Play must must win by pinfall or submission. So now I've got my finisher coming up. And now always oh, counted that. Oh, let's get this back in the ring. I know you're watching. Impressed with what you've done so far. You had a shot at Big neck breaker there. Oh. Ah, oh. for flipping hell's sake! One more time. One more time. So now, have I got to do all three again? Yes, I have. Brilliant. Okay. Well, at least now this time I know what we're doing. And sorry if this episode is a little bit longer than usual. But this is going to leave it. I am going to leave it here as soon as I have got this match done and out of the way. So now just another Irish whip and then clothesline bulldog. And now Iris whip to the outside. Hit him out there and just get him down. Then what have we got? Oh yes, we've got, got Triple H's sledgehammer. You didn't want to sign me. Well, look what I can do with a sledgehammer. Oh. And I'm not done with that. And now, yep, drop that. Yes, look at that. And now, oh. This takes me back to the marathon beatdown. Oh. Owen Schwartz and Mason Cunin for that title. And now, let's see if I can get this done quick. Oh, it does seem that the game does just get harder as you get closer to doing one of your obje objectives, which is quite cool. And now, all st I think he's going to stomp on the arm, and he does. Not a very good uh, design move, I think, by the game, to have someone in a completely black uh, outfit in a really black area of the game. Doesn't really work. Ah! Oh, come on, just get up. Oh, I'm stomping now on my leg. Making it harder for me to get up. But here we go. First objective done. And now he's going to throw us back into my van, which is very mean. No, I don't. I do not live in my van. And now counter that. 
And now leg it over here. Now, oh. This takes me back to the marathon beat down between and, uh, what on earth am I doing here? Who's, who on earth does an armbar outside the ring? Oh. Just a reminder, this match is false. And now, come on, follow me around here, man. In the general parking lot area, as we didn't pay to have the street closed. BCW is getting bigger, but we're not traffic control big yet, okay? And yep, there we go, the second one done. And now super fan again with the chair. Old ECW move that. Getting the weapons off the fans. And now getting back in the ring. Actually, just try and pin him here. Is that going to be enough? One. No, not even close. So now get yet another chair. And just beat him to hell with it. Oh, oh, big German there. And he's got his neck breaker. No. Oh. Ah. No DDT on the mat. And come on, get up, bad jokes. And again. Ah. I'm going to give it one more go and then we'll leave it there for today. And I'll come back tomorrow and I'll try it again. So I'm just gonna get just gonna try and get this done very quick. Get myself a weapon. Probably gonna be a sledgehammer again under here. And yep. For those of you who are late to the party, welcome to BC. Oh no, he's stolen it off me. Who knows? Like I say, if you come here for first class gameplay, you are definitely in the wrong place and ow! Big suplex DDT on the ground. Oh, Cobra clutch tight maneuver there. Now, yes, look at that. Nice big German suplexy typey thing there. Oh. Okay, if I could turn round, that would be nice. What on earth was the game doing? And now, come on, sledgehammer. There we go. And it should maybe just be once or twice more to get him down to the yellow again. And yep, and now drop that. Pick him up. Now where is he? Who on earth designed this? An objective where you've got to get a guy dressed in all black. You've got to hit him somewhere where it's all really dark. Whoever made that is not the smartest human ever. And now he's hitting me, I think. I can't really see. <coughs> Sorry, lads. Now, pin again. Oh! Now, knee to the face. 
And now finally, here we go. First objective done this time. Yep, and into my van. Yep. Then, oh yes. Okay, so now I've got two finishes. So now this should be the time when I do it. And just get him to come over here. I do really like this split screen sort of thing. That is very, very cool. Could be cool for like tag team matches and whatnot. And yep, that's the second one. Boom. And yeah, girl gives me the chair. We'll just skip that because we've seen that enough times now, surely. And yes, there we go. On the outside. That should finally be it, surely. One, two, three at last. Oh my gosh, that took far too long. Oh my gosh, let's just skip past all the highlights. And let's just see if there is any more story. And then I will leave it there. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry if this has been too long, guys. Hope you have stuck with me for it. That was amazing. The live crowd loved it. You managed to avoid wrecking the principal's car. And the pay-per-view buys were off the charts. You two will be getting nice bonus checks in the mail for that. Good up. Let me know what oh, will hope so. I'll hand deliver yours since the last time I checked, you can't send mail to vans. <laughs> that was quite the battle. It was. Sorry about your windshield. It's okay. Baron said he'd pay for it. <laughs> hey, you're a lot tougher than I thought you were. Yeah, I am. And I didn't really get it before, but now I'm starting to understand why they're calling. Well, I don't have to beat you twice. Pretty much just Baron calling me that. It's gonna catch on. You'll see. Well, my bad for getting fired up about the mask earlier. We good? Hmm. We are good. That's great, guys. But don't get too friendly because you'll be facing each other again soon in an even bigger rematch. I just need time to build some. Ooh. Baron, since when have you built anything ever? Well, I'm not actually building it myself, but I am designing it. In the meantime, I have some great opportunities for both of you to build off the success of tonight's show. Cole, an up-and-coming promotion in Japan wants you to go wrestle for mm. <laughs> Even Japan can't escape the energy of Black Hole Cole. <laughs> right. Actually, they explicitly said to not do that character. They just want Cole Quinn. And Buzz, we are headed south of the border for a match versus Mexico's hottest luchador, El Mago. Okay. I headed to Mexico. What? I took a few years of Spanish in high school. What? Guess that'll be useful on our trip. Hey, big things are happening for us in BCW. It's all coming together. Yes, it is. Now, it all seems to be coming up all BCW at the minute, doesn't it, guys? Yeah. And we are all friends again. I wonder how long that's going to last. And, yep, guys. That is where I'm going to leave it for today guys hope you've enjoyed that extra long video if you have please hit the like button down below subscribe to see more and to see more wwe content see pro evo 2019 and fm19 whenever the beta drops for that and yet follow me on twitter at bad jokes gaming and only one thing left for me to say i am bad jokes gaming i am out